know what we should do? You like make fresh pasta? I'm not very good at it. You're not very good at it? No. So, but you do want... I like it. You've my seen grandmother, it. my grandmother, all these years. She does the wells with flour. Mm -hmm. Do you mind if you do that today? I love it. I you're, love it. You're in for a fresh pasta lesson. I'm in. No problem. I, I brought a I'm clean gonna, shirt the whole nine yards. I'm going to get your hands dirty. Okay. Done. I'll be ready. Now, I know you're a professional, so don't make too much fun of me, all right? No, no, I will never make fun of you. See, you got the wells down, okay. right? Okay, drop a couple eggs. Yeah. How you many got, eggs do you think? I think, you know, start with four, three, four, whatever. Okay. One, two, and three. Beautiful, that's fine. So you got some salt there, right? Beautiful. Now a little more. Perfect. You no, know, we gotta do the pinch, the Italian pinch. When you, when you pinch salt, you gotta pinch like three finger, like that. Got it. Think you're pinching somebody's butt, right? Yeah, got It's it. a good pinch. <laughs> you gotta do that. Now, a little olive oil. And that's all yours. Go got ahead. It. Got yeah. it, got it. Let's see how you do fresh pasta, man. I think I'm already uh, you're doing good. a little rusty. You're doing good. That's the way, right? Right, yeah, it's coming together. Do you remember grandma? Yeah. You having fun already? Yep, I got this. Couple hours, I'll be ready. Your, your yeah, fingers no. look a little messy. This is how I remember it, right? It's good, you're, you're actually doing it the old school way. Now, let me ask you a question, Tim. Don't you wish that in these moments you could make fresh pasta from scratch in two minutes with no mess? Yeah, yeah, we're busy, right? So that would, uh, that would come in handy. Don't get me wrong, you're doing very well. Thank you. But this is gonna look like it's gonna be there for a while. Yeah. So here's what I'm gonna do for you. Okay. And I apologize if I didn't do it sooner, but I had to see you do that. If you wanna do this, just clean off your hand and I'll show you one thing's why teaming up with a chef is always a good thing when it comes down to make fresh pasta. First of all, the ingredients are all there. Right. That's what we need, right? Yeah, it's gonna be delicious. You know what this is? Ah, yeah, food processor. Food processor. The important part about fresh pasta is not the execution is the end result. Okay. Old school technique, old school flavor, new age technology. Normal <laughs> recipe for pasta feature one egg per person. Two of us right now, I would say three eggs because we like to eat. Right. Three eggs in a food processor with blade attachment. Pinch of salt, a touch of extra virgin olive oil, just a touch. I don't know how much a touch is, it's a touch. Don't get too cut up with recipe. Now that we have that, the eggs, the salt, and the oil, we pulse it. That's it. Then, we're gonna start to measure flour in the old-fashioned Italian way. Do you know what an Italian tablespoon is? No. It's whatever comes up. <laughs> it doesn't matter, we don't measure it. So for three eggs, let's start with 10, 12. Perfect. Doesn't matter, 12 Italian tablespoons. You ready? Close it, lock it, one, finger technique. Easy. Go like that. You see what's happening inside? The dough is mixing, right? Now, if you see this, touch, touch this dough here. Touch the dough here. It's a little wet. A little sticky, yeah. It's a little sticky, right? So here's what we're gonna do. If the dough is sticky, it will stick through the machine. So here's what we need to do now. We need to add one or two more Italian tablespoon of flour. That's pretty Italian to me. Go like that. Then you kind of break the dough with a spoon a little bit, right? Just, just break it apart a touch. Now let it, let it go for a second. So now we go from pulse to on. The best way to make Italian pasta is to drink a lot of wine while doing it. Perfect. Cheers. Cheers. As the pasta is mixing, the blade function just like grandma's finger, creating the moist and the work that you need in the pasta inside. When the pasta is gonna be ready, the whole dough is gonna start to mix and run in the machine just like that. The bowl is clean and we just made fresh pasta and your cute, adorable hands are not messy. Now, if you have team at your house, have them do it by hand, it's amazing. 
But if you don't have it, that's the way you want to do it. You got a wet towel, pour it on top. And the pasta is really done. So now let's move to the stretching part of it and then we'll create the sauce as the pasta dry a little bit on a cutting board. So Tim, so here's the deal. Now the pasta has rested for a few minutes. Okay. Little flour, cut it in half and run it through the machine. You know the drill, right? I think this is, should be the way it works. I drink, you cook. Well, so let's see if it works. It's risky, it's risky. Cool. So I have it in my blood. You know what? If wine making and restaurateur does not work out for you, I will hire you. How easy is to make fresh pasta, man? Yeah, there's teamwork right there, huh? Yeah, like we did the wine, now we do the pasta. <laughs> we get this right here, and we make our pasta. I'm gonna do this with the kids tonight. It's really how easy it is, look. Irregular pasta shape, pezze. These are pezze pasta. Pezze in Italy mean little handkerchief. We're gonna do a pasta with mussels and lobster. Beautiful. Do you like the idea? Yeah, love Let's it. Let's get it rolling. Awesome. I'm hungry. Awesome, let's Done. do it. Very easy sauce. First and foremost, I like to have my garlic cloves almost whole, cause I like the garlic flavor in stuff, but I don't like, I don't like when they overpower, especially with delicate seafood like lobster and mussel. So what we're gonna do first and foremost, we're gonna kind of smash that a little bit. Okay but we're gonna leave it whole. Okay. Then we're gonna get some shallots, just a little bit, not too much. This is nice and hot, see the smoking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice and hot. Just add a couple of pieces of butter in it. Beautiful, perfect. So now we're gonna add the garlic and we're gonna add the shallots. And we're gonna cook these lightly, not too much, not too little. Okay. Now. The, like we said, food and wine is gonna go together. So we're gonna add a touch of lemon zest okay. to these, a touch of lemon zest. So the lemon notes in the lemon peel will scream back and call the Chardonnay and the Pinot Grigio. Now, it's a very easy dish. Get the mussel and we'll put the mussel in. Now, put like whatever, four, five, six, eight, whatever you are. Beautiful. You got a little butter sauce there, you got shallots, you got onion. You get a good brandy. You take these off the fire and you put a good amount of brandy and then you're careful with it. You flambe that. By flambeing, you take out all the alcohol, but the sugar stays there. You see how the seafood is opening right yep. now? Yep. As you see there, right? Yeah. Beautiful. Now this is very easy right now, look. Got a touch of tarragon inside. Tarragon is a great herb. It's a very sweet, but very aromatic. A little bit goes a long way. A pinch of pepper, salt. Then we're gonna add the lobster. Now I always add lobster for last, because lobster is very delicate and it's gonna take not a whole of a lot of time to cook. And now we're gonna add a touch of cream. We can add just the amount of lemon that we want in. Okay. We can adjust the amount of tarragon. We can add a little bit more, a little bit less salt. That's really up to the flavor profile that you want. We par cook the pasta in water and just let's add some of the pasta to here. It's a, it's a very, very bright dish. Yeah. It's, it's creamy, it's bright, it's citrus, and it's gonna do very well with the wine. You see that now it's creamy, yeah. the pasta is kind of covered, mm -hmm. it's like kind of coated yeah. with the sauce. Awesome. So here's what we're gonna do now, look. In the old fashion of a good friendship and old school, we just serve everything family style. That's awesome. Like there, an extra touch of lemon. Guess what we're gonna do now, my friend? We're gonna eat it. Done, cheers. Awesome. Cheers, well done, man. Thank, Thank you, you for watching, guys. Appreciate it. I wish this was a tasty vision and smelly vision. <laughs> You'll have to wait a little bit longer to try it. You're gonna love it. But this one is for you, cheers, everybody. Cheers, thank you.